TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me. You see it, little warning screen. You know what it is, man. Don't forget, we also got Patreon. We post five to ten times a week on there, including um, Premier League highlights, man. Uh, lock in with me. <laughs> That's stuff we can't watch on YouTube. Don't forget, we do got Twitch.com for the um, for the live stream. Username's at the bottom of the screen. But this is Welcome to the Murder Capital of America, Philadelphia. This is by the Taboo Room with Aaron. See, he switched the name. He thought I got to add that with Aaron. It's important. I get it. <laughs> Salute to the Taboo Room and Aaron, man. I'm glad he, like, evolved with the times. You know what I'm saying? He's going through doing all this American stuff. And I was never going to watch the American stuff. It took a Brit for the, to go over there and watch it and do it. Then I watch it. <laughs> Obviously, it makes sense for me. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Philadelphia, man. What do I think of Philly, man? I think Philly do got some slums. I think Philly do got some murderers, man. They got some real killers out there. And I got a lot of respect for Philly. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. And don't forget, they got the cheese steak. Don't forget. I got, Philly got to be the, the capital of YNs. Y'all know what YNs are? Go look it up. They got the, they got the. The most crash outs. Yo, bro, how are you? What up, Cron? And what's the name? You missed the disrespect for Uncle. Who you with? A little disrespect. Oh, shit, he got this. Man, he had this a minute. This is before he died. R.I.P. I mean, you know, he knew what came with the street life, but R.I.P. regardless. This is the disrespect. This is my interview with YBC Duel. Dool was murdered weeks after this interview. This was one of his last public interviews. It's a heartbreaking situation all around for both Dool's people and the streets of Philly. Yeah. Maybe it's a heartbreaking situation for Dool's direct family. You know what I'm saying? But like the streets know. Like I, I want to be realistic at this. Like I don't want to come on here and cap and be like, oh my God, I'm like, Nigga was in the streets. He was the crash out king. He was Mr. Disrespectful. Let me go to my op's grave and dig up. Let me dig up his his burial site. Like, if you ask me, karma is a real thing. And one day, you're going to have to answer. Everybody got to an answer in the street life, especially if you a murderer. Especially if you got bodies, if, especially if you a known sh gang member street who really about that life. And Mr. Disrespectful, from all I know, he was really about that life. He had real life ops. So would, would I agree with that statement? Any death is a tragedy. But there are certain ones where you like, it's still tragic, but like, it's understood. It's understandable. Another life was taken in the streets. When you're watching these documentaries, remember one thing that's for certain, that these are real situations and real consequences of the streets. Yeah. Rest in peace to do. Exactly. How'd you get the name, Mr. Disrespectful? It's not, it's not easy to get that kind of name. I really be disrespected, like, it's just speak for itself. R.I.P., but biblically, if you're in the church, and do I disrespect Where are we at the moment? Right now, we in Philly, we in the trenches right now. I know what the is going on. Real gutter. We in the gutter right yeah. now. 
There's so many names, so, so many, many blocks, so a lot of day ops. This that music you hop in that car and go kill too. Sometimes I forget I'm a superstar. I go on drills too. And where are we at the moment, bro? We in the dirtiest, the nastiest, the triflest place in the world. Strawberry Mansion, Philadelphia, North Philadelphia. And what's this area known for? Uh, nothing. At all. Shory Mansion. That's it. The school. That's all we know for is the school. And I guess within the streets, what's it known for? Street. Dirty, nasty, maniacal, diabolical shit. Killings, drug dealings, gorillas. You know what's going on out here. Stop playing. And why is it so bad? It's just like, I can't even explain to you why. It's just a bunch of guttery on one side. <laughs> we just want to get the cracking. It's like the same going on, like, Drug trafficking, getting shot, robberies, like everything, how everything goes, you know what I'm saying? Like a eight out of 10 of you in some shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you in some shit, of course you always gotta be on 10, like, you know, like, but I'm not gonna lie, this looks. I'm not gonna even lie to you, I ain't gonna hold you. I used to think Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore, deep, like I used to think, like you go in the hood in Baltimore, you, you, <laughs> You know you there, buddy. You know you there. It's down bad. But Philly, Philly. I be trying to, man, I, hey, Philly really is is on that level. A lot much, Fantastic. much more treacherous than anywhere I've been so far in Philly. Damn. Yeah, that's real. It's Strawberry Mansion. At the end of the day, you feel me? This shit, this shit always been treacherous. Like, I'm like, Man, I, this shit always been treacherous. To be honest, to be honest. This is the first thing I've ever watched on Philly. Like, <laughs> real talk. Like, when he died, I watched um that one. Because I wanted to see what Academic, DJ Academics was talking about. How he portrayed it and, and what Buddy did and blah, blah, blah. I know I know, Taboo Room going to portray it in the right aspect every time, 100%. Like, he going to give you the street. He going to show you both sides of their life. He going to say... What he gonna say? He gonna pay some positive remarks. He gonna say that this is his street life. Keep in mind, he gonna do that every time, and it's very respectful for the trenches in the hood. And I appreciate that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't go over here and just shed dark, 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 dark. You gotta show both sides. You gotta show the humanistic nature of most people. You know what I'm saying? I like that energy. Anyway, continue. This time, I ain't even gonna lie to you. You safe right now? You with me, boy? For me. It's that gutter right See now. it. <laughs> it just depends on who you know, bro. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie if you want, if you want some regular chill shit. Yeah, if you want some cool shit, though, bro, like, don't be on no bro. We ain't on there in Philly. Like, we really got ops. We do the niggas that need done to them, like. In the year of 2021, I read the statistic there was 501 murders, bro. Yeah. That's like a murder every 18 hours. Yeah. What, 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 what happened that year? <laughs> like, what happened yeah. in that year? You said 2021, right? It was that pandemic <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that pandemic shit, and it's like yeah. a lot of gave people too much free time. Yeah, too much free time. Exactly, one hundred percent. Cause in Chicago, it was a very similar. Chicago had eight hundred murders in two thousand twenty-one. Eight hundred homicides. Them young boys had nothing to do. Everybody was outside. You think it was a lockdown in two thousand twenty-one? No. Everybody was throwing parties. Everybody was outside. Everybody was getting in a in a hood in a trench in a in that aspect. That was most. That was one of the most lucrative years for the trenches. That was like what, boy? They was handing out money. So people was outside, you handing out money. What you gonna go do in the trench? You gonna try to go flip your money? You gonna go cop something? You gonna double it? Be outside? Everybody was outside. Everybody had a reason to get hated on in 2021. You would, you would think it's safe because they had all these measures, man. No, 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 no. 2021 was diabolical. It was real life stuff going on, boy. We had the National Guard in Iraq. Like, uh, it was tough. And was it just wild on the streets of Philadelphia? Yeah. yeah. Had money. They got. They had got better. Got better guns and all that shit. So it was like. With it, with that check says buying guns. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, it's like once you got money, you can buy whatever gun you want. And I, so in, in hindsight, that, that's probably one of the worst decisions they could have done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, 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 I feel like the the, the the murder rate nationwide in 2021 went through the roof. Yeah. Okay. 
Around that time, it was like, I had so much motherfucking money, and I was just, ran up. So y'all be thinking I be cabin, like I don't know, like I wasn't outside. Y'all look at me, oh yeah, you, 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 all right, I was outside, but <laughs> I know what was going on. I was outside capitalizing, what the hell? I was outside sundown to sun up, capitalizing on the money aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. Everybody had money. Everybody had a bag. Don't forget all that PPP stuff was right before before that. So, you know, that was tail end of it. You was coming up on people was getting their re-up from what was from um you couldn't go to work, so you had that. You had the the checks coming in from the government, the COVID check. Like you had so much money in the streets, I and mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, he was spot on, man. Them young boys was going to go buy them pistols. It doesn't matter. Want <laughs> guns, you feel me? Ammo. That, man. All that after the man, checks came out. You already know, like, that switches, you feel me? Like, all type of new You feel what I'm saying? It was never no switches until 2021. You feel me? That's but, crazy, bro. Yeah, but, um, like, I say that shit definitely went up because... Everybody was hungry. I feel like I feel like everybody was hungry. Everybody wanted to eat, and at the end of the day, start beefing. You feel me? That's just how it ends. You right, bro? How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. How you doing? I'm good, bro. What's the name? My boy Skrilla. Skrilla. Nice to meet you, Skrilla. Yeah, it's me. And where are we? We in the trenches. We in Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Kensington. Skrilla. I actually like Skrilla's music. I ain't even gonna hold you. Be exact though, Kensington. Regular, it's regular, there's nothing though. Come on, we out, there's nothing. Skrilla for president, you yeah. Big legs, that's what happens when you rupture a vein. I'm here at the moment interviewing Skrilla um, in Kensington. I'm not gonna lie, Aaron is really outside. He has been outside for the last eight months. <laughs> then Av, we're gonna find out what his life's like and what it's really like living in the trenches. Skrilla, at the moment in your life, do you have to constantly be looking over your shoulder? At all times. And yeah, no, nah, hell yeah, no, nah, though. But I'm straight over here, though. I got eyes behind me right now, though. Like, I'm straight. When I'm down this, bitch, though, I'm straight, though. I got eyes all around out this. Bitch. This, Wait, like, is it like. Skrilla turned up. <laughs> Gone out of his mind. But but certain parts of Philly, if you was, your head would have to be on a swivel at all times. Yeah, kind of everywhere, though. Everywhere in Philly, though. But this home base, though. I still got to be on a swivel over here, though. But I got eyes on a swivel for me, though. No, that's how I felt. Chicago, ain't no really no not being on high alert. You know what I'm saying? It can happen anywhere, but like when you at the crib, like when you on block certain blocks, you like, all right, I'm cool, man. We got with the guys, we good. But everywhere it can happen. So, screw that. At what age did you jump off the porch? Probably like I, I jumped off the porch like. 13, 14, like 14, like 14, I jumped off the porch. But like I really, really jumped off the porch like, like 15, 16, like 16, like 16. And I get, what, how did your parents feel about it? Because I was a 16 year old bro, no one wants their son jumping off the porch. I ain't gonna lie, my parents ain't f with that though. Like I was strong, I'm on some scattered cause, cause I used to play ball. Like I did a lot of little though. As a young boy, I did like a lot of like, that a lot of didn't do though. Like I, I didn't went to good schools. I didn't play ball. I didn't play. Who look like what's his name? Beast mode. Football. I didn't play every sport. Then the more get into the streets, where like people got all that going. Cause I wanted there. money when I was young boy. I wanted money and I like I, the music I listened to and this shit was glorified though. Like this is like, this is like what I wanted to be. Like I'm what I wanted to be. Yeah, tell me about your life then, though. So what was your life like in the younger years? I ain't gonna lie, growing up, for me, for real, for real, like, that shit was, like, low-key, like, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie, I had, like, 
a, like a rough experience growing up. I ain't never really had too much, like, feel me? When you say rough experience, tell me more. Like, I don't know, bro, like the typical Philly like, play sports, had one parent household, and like, I can't, bro, this just so typical normal, bro. Like, like yeah, it's like a typical there. stereotype, like, bro. I yeah, can't even, like, tell me, like, bro, my, like, like, shoot, like, growing up, feel me, like, I ain't gonna, we always up, feel me? So yeah, I probably was the worst. I probably like, was like, out of all my homies, though, like growing up, bro, I ain't gonna say I was the worst because it was for that sure was that was in more yeah. fucked up predicaments than me, but like, I was one of the ones, though, but like, yeah, got it all. Like, you was was gotta, one, like, yeah. out of all my homies, though, like, I was one of the ones. I was up. So, bro, what's the name? I'm FS the Bender, if y'all know. Yeah. And um, where are we now? We we in the gutter. We in the, you in the real historical place. And when you said the gutter, what part of Philadelphia is that? We in North Philadelphia. North Philadelphia? Yes, sir. And what's that known for? The murder we rise. What age did you jump off the porch? I jumped off the porch when I did my first robbery. I want to say I was, I was 15 years old when I did my first robbery. What was the circumstances? I was up. I ain't had nothing but a gun. And I was tired of the Like, I was working, I was young, so I had a different mindset. I felt like people didn't deserve the that they had, and that's not my place, because that's what people want. So I used to feel like, I'm gonna take that shit, because I feel like I deserve it more than they do. But that's what a motherfucker worked for. I just, I had a fuck that way of thinking. And I guess, well, when did that change? That, that, that My first time being forced to sit in jail, when I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't bill out, I couldn't call my mom and my folks, I couldn't call nobody, because it was kind of like, People was telling me the right way to go and the right thing to do, but I kept going against it. I kept touching the fire and burning my hand because I wanted to see if it was really hot. So by the time I got in situations where I needed people, I was kind of up. I wasn't fucked up, but I was up because nobody wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to sit back and learn and become a man and just know. I hope everybody watching knows what effed up means. Down bad, broke. D in the dirt, you ain't got nothing. No hope. Mm. Like everything ain't gonna go your way and nothing is, nothing is, nothing is given to you. You gotta go work for it. I'm in the trenches out here with the killers. You can catch the serving all the guys ain't worrying about no bitches. Whatever you need, you know we got to slide on the block. No way ain't worrying about no wife for y'all. Like, you know, know what I'm niggas? finding crazy, bro. I feel like people in these hoods are almost desensitized to murder. There's none. It's like, it's, it's sad to say, but it's like normal. It's, normal. Yeah. it's, it's really like, it got normal. normalized to it. Like, it's like, it's nothing. It's like, it's, it's really normal, especially when we're in the church. We, or you come up in the church, like, we should do this for the kids or the people on the block, like, just to keep certain things safe. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's really, we can really control, we can control this shit down here. You can control that shit. You can control that shit. We shot them, but we shot them, yeah, but man, we, we take care of ourselves. Oh, we yeah. shot You want me to cut the app? You want me to cut the app? No, fuck no. Don't cut your phone out. You want to get you, man. It's me. It's so f***ed up. I'm used to murder. So it was like, it was something, but now it was nothing. It's like, now everybody knows it's like, you going to die regardless. So it's like, murder is just like, yeah, natural. I hear the word murder spoken about in this environment. Yeah. It's common. Yeah, it's bro. All you gotta do is download the Citizens app, bro. Right you know, now, like, you right like, now, somebody probably dying right, right now. now. Somebody dying right like now. Like how he is right now, bro. The whole video. I don't know if y'all remember. You can probably go back on my shorts. I used to post on the, the Citizens app to show y'all what was going on. Yeah. When I was in Chicago, it was really wicked. Y'all used to be like, damn, it's 3 in the morning. Like, yeah, don't stop. It get real hectic after 11 p.m. Really past 1 p.m., when you think people sleep now, that's when the demons come out to play. That's when the killers is really outside. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Right now, it's the summertime. If y'all can download Citizens app in the U.K., download it and put in, like, Philadelphia. Whether North Philadelphia or... Look up the zip code for North Philadelphia. Look up the zip code for East St. Louis. Look up the look up the zip code for Chicago. Y'all gonna see it. I'll put them in. Watch. Mm hmm. It get crazy. I moved to Florida. I had the Citizens app. Boy, I clicked that. I don't even look at it no more. 
Don't nothing be going on out here. Time. And you have to look over your shoulder wherever you go. A lot. I do, but like it's. That surely can't be enjoyable though. It's not, but I feel like as a normal person, you protect yourself anyway. You should be on alert. You should never not be aware of your surroundings, even as a normal person. You know, and it's crazy that he say that because normal people don't think like that. <laughs> people outside of the hood don't think like that. Uh, like people be looking like, oh man, be on high alert and they be like, why are you looking around like that? You don't be checking your surroundings at all times. I have to have a conversation with somebody like, brother, you got to bring that? Yes, I do. <laughs> and bro, do you think drill music is good for society? It got its pros and its cons, though. It got its pros and its cons. It's good for if you. Ch Some people make it out with this, sh though. Like, a lot of people make it out with this. Sh and a lot of people make themselves something like a, a, a job and like they get themselves something to do. But it, it's, it got a pros and its cons though. Yeah, man. The, I say the pros is what he said. And like, and like it's an outlet. It's like therapy for people in these situations or the, or the artist himself or other people going through the same stuff. It's like therapy. Like, man, I'm not the only one going through this. But now, on the con side, like, there are impressionable minds. Like Skrilla said earlier, and I was a good kid. I played sports. I went to a good school, but I was listening to music, and and, 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 and I was and I let it, it got into me. Like, yeah. You got to remember, man, with great power comes great responsibility. I ain't saying don't rap what you rap, but just know what, what, what it's doing. It got its pros and its cons. That's but great. I feel like it's bad more than it's good, though. You can drill at the impact. Yeah. 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 I ain't that from started man, back bro. in 2012 from Chief Keith. And when they start dropping music, that shit influenced Philly a little bit. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna lie. That shit was not a little bit, a lot of it. I was the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, that shit influenced the world, world like, bro. Like, our generation was the last generation of, like, going to high school and still worrying about fist fights. Like, yeah. damn, bro, you gotta go to school with a pipe. If not, bro, you're getting cooked. Bro, shit. I'm going for the kill. I'm trying to stretch right. your ass. Two, three, playboy I'm with an unfortunate truth in that statement. Stretch a 20 grand on a head. That's the next victim. My bitch got a nice ass and she walked different. Bro most wanted, so he not coming. Get down or lay down. We got the Pete jumping. Corvette, yak off fast. They can't see nothing. Broke boy, you ain't got a life. You ain't going to be nothing. And Teep, I want to go back to your music, yeah. Because it, from my understanding, it's very aggressive. Yeah. But again, being a... to hear it with a beat. I ain't never heard him. Muslim. It surely can't go hand in hand. I understand being in the streets, mm -hmm. but then when you have the ability to speak about it and you're speaking aggressive, I thought it almost, I guess, contradicts the, the religion. Yeah, I was about to say, because actually being a Muslim, we're not supposed to make music exactly, at all. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we're not supposed to make music at all. So it's just like, everybody's sense. So you just got... You, you just Would gotta, you ever consider changing the style of your lyrics? Huh? Have you ever considered changing the, the aggressive style that you have? It's like, actually, Keith, it's like it? once I get in the doors, yeah, like I, 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 I'll be willing like to change my whole, my whole image. Did you know what it is, Steve? Like, I think it's good that obviously you, I can see you're a very genuine and black and white person, yeah. Uh -huh. But I feel like it's all good telling the next generation don't do what you did. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. but when you're saying that stuff in your music, I feel like that hits ten times harder than this interview ever will. No, yeah. No, you, no, you're right. So it's like I only see this in my music because it's like entertainment that's what it's like that's what they be wanting to hear but it's like that's wild as well don't you think that that's what exactly that that's yeah. what I get views is hearing yeah. murder murder anthems yeah. it's the same it's the same with anything the most views are, are, are gonna be something negative even like as a youtuber like the most views is gonna be you clickbait the title and make it something negative that's it's gonna it's gonna bust 100 <laughs> percent. this interview busts because welcome to the murder capital of america like and it was really that. But I like how, like, once again, I like how Aaron do it. He give him free game, you know what I'm saying? He trying to, just like what he's telling him, like, yeah, you right. Dude. It's like, yeah, it's like, that's what they be wanting to hear. But, like, as you said, like, with the kids, it's like, I, I tell them that because, I tell them, like, not to get in the streets because when was telling me, I ain't listen. I ain't think, I thought they were just, like, talking. Like, we really, like, be thinking motherfuckers just be talking. These 
they just don't be talking. They be telling us the truth, like like with the street shit, like stay out the streets. Like yeah. if I had a chance to stay out the streets, I really wouldn't be in the streets. I wouldn't even be rapping about this dumb ass if I ain't get in the streets. That's wise, bro. Yeah, like the streets. I was really half in and half out. Yeah, think about it. I grew up in on Howard, right on the borderline between how, uh, North Chicago and Evanston. But I grew up in the jungle, and then we moved to Evanston, like right on the border. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, it used to be this dude that came by the park by my house. Like he, we lived in a cul-de-sac, a dead end. He used to get drop-offs, and I used to be outside. This is how it started. I used to be outside, and I used to know what it was. I wasn't oblivious. I wasn't dumb. They used to throw the package underneath the car. Dude used to come get it, and I used to be outside, and he used to tell me, grab it for him. Go under the car and grab it for him. Obviously, he wouldn't go do it. So, yeah, I went under the car, grabbed it for him, and that's where it started. That's where it started. You know what I'm saying? Heavy GD area. So, you know. How old was I there? I was in fifth grade, sixth grade. I was in sixth grade when that was going on. And then he used to give me money, and I used to think nothing of it. Like, okay. But I knew what, knew what it was. I'm not dumb, you know. Did that for a while. Then, you know, you go to school. You start going to middle school, seventh, eighth grade. My mom moved me to the north suburbs, Skokie. Hated Skokie. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, man, I got kicked out of high school there. Went to a, a alternative school. Graduated by the skin of my teeth out of there. Got my high school diploma. Went right back to the right back to Howard Street. Right back. Moved over there. Never moved back to the Burbs. I was in the city for the rest of my life, man. I, I like seventeen. That's when. Yeah, but they were still fighting in school when I was. We, yeah, like dude was saying, like this is the last generation of fist fighting. When we was going to house parties on the west of the south side, that's when they start shooting. I remember they were still fist fighting, and a lot of people lost their life or got shot thinking they could still fist fight at these parties we was going to. Like, a fight will break out and instantaneously. Like, somebody will throw some fists, boom, 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 and next thing you know, shots going off. But we would keep going, you know. And then we start getting into a lot of fight. We was, like, the main people fighting. And then eventually, like, you know, you get that reputation there's always somebody that's gonna show wants to wants it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we big bigger than them. Da, 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 da. Anyway, continue. That's another story. Maybe I'll tell a whole story on Twitch one day about my little. The streets the reason why I'm rapping like this. And bro, do you think drill music's good for society? Would you say it's bad? No. I mean, no. Nothing that we listen to be good. But you feel me? Of course, drill music ain't gonna be good for real, for real, for the for the. That's like dumb as hell to actually like, you know what I'm saying, go out here and do this shit. Like, I don't want to go out here doing this shit that I'm listening to and this drill music shit. You feel me? Like, I want the same way a motherfucker might play GTA, you feel me? And, and go back outside and live a normal life, you feel me? I, I want it to be like that with the music, but I do get influenced by the music, you feel me? Crazy. <laughs> Alpha paper, that's the motto. Alpha paper, we the mob. Get it any way you can, be broke when you. Die. I was in the trap making that bubble telling granny lies She asked us was that residue then we start getting butterflies Suit and tie, bye why you breathing before you reach the skies Yo bitch, got that sweet pussy and that's where it applies Fuck fame, dropping soon and watch these numbers multiply Looking at me froggy eye, looking like you want pray to God Every time I hop up on the beat, seem like a murder happen My blasting, hitting hard like them crack addicts Bad things happen and that do me dirty, ask them If you can ask them, they probably in shirts cause Blast them. Oh, here it's tragic because it's grown folk business. I remember all them nights that we was graveyard shifting. We was all about a dollar trying to ball Scott Pippen. We was making all the noise, but y'all was sounding like crickets. I'm like looking at my past now, wondering where I'm going to. Cop is keeping tags on the that never f with you. Claiming they never rat until they comfortable before five is functional. Attitudes is adjustable. Pussy. Let me 
if you saw a loved one get shot and murdered, and the police said to you, and you've witnessed it happen, and the police said, if you tell us who did it, they'll go to prison forever. Ah, uh, shit, now you don't even ask me that question. That shit out. That shit out. That shit out. That's but, a no-go. But you know why I asked that, bro? Because I think civilians find that mind-blowing. Like, for everyone, 95% like of people, when they hear me ask that question, I often get that response. Yeah. And, and people are mind-blown, bro. Can you see why they would be? Kinda, yeah, nah. Because nah. if someone shot my mum, bro, like, I guess I'd want justice. And in my eyes, justice would be that the fact that he never goes home again. There's not. Yeah, that ain't the same for the streets, though. They gonna get their justice in their own form. Oh, yeah, well, that's not justice to us, though, like, we don't want that, though. We want that. We want, yeah, though, like, we want, we want <laughs> blood, for real. We want blood. The old times, eye for an eye, energy. That shit crazy, man, that you say that, because it's like, did that person think about, and they took my son's life? Did they think about what the consequences going to be? No, not the And did anyone in the time, these cops are taking our lives, you feel me? Well, that's that line to the camera, bro. bro. listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. You walk in with us, bro, you ain't never had nothing to worry about. Never. Like, I'm talking about never. Is these cops really out here killing me? Anybody, any and everybody, and you're not taking that point. We standing on purpose as a family, as a whole. Bro, I got a Bro. situation that happened to me. That exact situation. I done seen my, I done walked up and seen that's my homie. Never ever would I ever turn him over to the law, bro. Never. Now, what is that going to do, bro? Well, after that coach prison, man, and you knew that would happen, would you, knowing that would happen, would you still, would you? Then do it. It's to the point, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's to the point where, like, bro, it's to the point where, like, bro, on some real shit, bro, if something like that happened, bro, we kill you, right? Exactly. And if and if we don't get to get you before the cops before get the you, cops. bro, when you in jail, bro, it's like, gonna get yeah, you, you know in jail. Shit, this shit don't stop, bro. You, you feel me? This shit don't stop. Neither like, the war don't happen, end. Bro. Like, this shit still to, like. Yeah, you ain't safe in jail. Guaranteed, it's somebody's uncle or somebody's family member or somebody homeboy in there that knows. So it's. While we out here having our freedom. Real rough, and, and, and that's why them young boys out there who got them pistols, who go in there, they ain't got that. And them, them, them prison officers is not going to defend you like that. It's the it's other side of the world. Yeah. Right now, bro, I'm about to show you, bro. This shit is real, bro. I can show you right now, bro. No, bro. This shit just happened three hours ago, bro. No, bro. I can Stabbing him in front of the guards and everything. He's stabbing him. Yes. Right now, bro. bro. This Philly, bro. This them prison guards are normal people. They ain't police officers. They just normal people trying to get a nine to five. They trying to go home. Don't stop. That shit. They Pokemon. They call that the Pokemon City. We got court in the streets. That's why we hold court in the streets. You know the rules that you abide by. You know just like biblical times, it's crazy. You can never do it's like Roman old times. Court in the street. Eye for an eye. Like that. I've been shot, I've been shot four times. Four times? Yeah, I turned him down every time. And you knew who it was? Yes, turned him down every time. That's mind blowing, bro. When I'm on the other side of the gun, it's like, I would want somebody to do the same to me. At this moment in my time, I don't, I think if it was a family member of mine, hell no. I don't feel like I would like then tell the cops all that. Like who did it, if I know who did it, like you feel me? Like same with like, same I ain't gonna lie, like, you feel me, like, like, even with, like, homies out here, like, I'm just being real at the end of the day. Homies got killed out here, you feel what I'm saying? I know who killed they homies, you feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if if everybody felt that way to sit there and, like, you know, tell a cop or whatever case may be, sometimes that shit don't even do nothing, you feel me? Like, get, uh... Uh, little tips all the time and shit like that, but that shit don't, you know what I'm saying, be masked up. You know what I'm saying, be out of the way. Would you tell the police? Listen, uh, when I was when I was a young, wild, stupid, retarded motherfucker, no, I wouldn't tell. When I was 20, I'm 30 with a kid, two kids, want them to succeed. I want to succeed, I want to leave legacy. Bitch, you going to the jail, right? Yeah, there, yeah, 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 he right here. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, 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 I see him. He just went on the corner. Yeah, he got to go to jail. What are you out here for? What are you here for? You're not doing nothing productive. You're not do, you're not helping society. Pe people that kill people are bombs. You know that? Because people that have stuff to do tomorrow, you got to make a deck to London. I can guarantee you not going to kill nobody in America. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Because yeah. you got something to do. People that kill people don't have nothing to do tomorrow. 
They're the most dangerous people in the world. It's a bar, bro. It's not on mine. It's real dangerous. It's the truth. That's crazy. That's so true, though, yeah. You gotta watch out for people say, I don't give a f I don't care about none of that. I, I ain't scared to die. You're not scared to die. You yeah, I ain't partaking in none of this no more, none of this lifestyle, but I, I ain't telling them nobody either, still. We die once. I'm not scared to die. It's gonna happen, though. You wanna do it in 10 years, 12 years, 13 years? I don't wish jail on nobody. Like, even the people I don't with, like, they don't wish jail on them, bro. Them come so, up, like. Bro, what about the person who shot you? Do you reckon he should be in prison for the rest of his life? Do I think he should be in prison? I don't know. I don't think it, nah. He's somewhere else, bro. So what, what, what in your, your world is justification for what he did to you? What is justice in your eyes then if it's not prison? What is justice in my eyes? Don't let it happen again. I don't think it is. I don't think it, that shit ain't gonna happen again, but. He can't even really get it out. <laughs> We're reading between the lines. I hear you, buddy. Now, so I mean, for him, bro, so what, so what justice should he be doing for what he's done to you? What do you reckon? So if you, you reckon prison's not it? What do you reckon? Yeah, prison, not, no. I don't so what do you reckon general. should happen to him? It already happened. Say if he's in control sure, now. If he, if he, if he, if he got away with this, then you feel me? He got away with this. Just move. Don't just. I just. To tell so bro, even if you saw down, the person who yeah. shot you, if you saw the person who shot you, if I saw him face to face, and, and you knew who it was, and I knew who it was. And <laughs> would, you, would you would you would you would you go to the police? Would I go to the police? No, nah, bro. I don't wish jail on nobody, bro. I don't want to nobody, bro. Bro, that's shocking, bro. That's crazy. Obviously, to civilians, that's, obviously in your world it's different, but to, to me as a civilian, bro, that, that's insane, bro. So you'll you, you, uh, send a person to jail, shot you? Bro, if someone shot me 100%, like, I would want justice. I feel like that's fair you justice. justice in the I mean, like... It's, it, you think about it. Yes, maybe mentally, oh, hey, he's locked up. You can't do nothing to him. But believe you me, he got homies. He got homies. You're not going into witness protection. Uh, what else? What else? You're still going to have PTSD. You're still going to be in fear. Like, it, it really... I don't know. I guess that's how you look at it. Perspective. Yeah, it is. Some, like, okay. I don't know, bro. He shot me. He'll never, never see his family for 20 years. So, to me, in my eyes, I mean, that's a level of justice. You're still alive, right? You still can see your family and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga can't see his family and shit no more after that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we can call him whenever, call him certain times. Not like niggas still got family. That's all true. This more, all this, like it's more, to, it's more than that. And say if you like, probably did, you did that, probably did that shit by accident. Like I'm saying, I don't even know what the like. All I remember is just shots letting ring off. You feel me? I don't know who it was meant for or anything. I don't know like. There's a lot of people. I, like I'm allowing a lot of people. So a lot of other people like civilians, civilians in the park, and I don't know if they civilians or not. But it's people in the park. You feel me? Everything. So you don't know who the shots for. Like I don't. You feel me? I don't risk jail on nobody though, bro. No, I hear that, bro. Got families to feed, all that shit. He can't feed his family in jail. But look, oh, yeah, but look what he's done. So does he get? To, do, he should, should he have that right after what he's done? Though I hear what you're saying, but there's two sides to that coin. There's, there's a, there's a, what is it? There's a, there's a reaction for every action. So this, the, the, an action is leaving you in a wheelchair, bro. So there should be a, a heavy, like a, just the, that. The, but listen, if there was a reaction, probably. If I forgive him, why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? The, the nigga who shot me off, I can forgive him, why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? If I say, oh, the nigga, he shouldn't be in jail, if I'm the one, he did it to me. I say he shouldn't be in jail, he shouldn't be in jail, you feel me? No, I don't want to jail on nobody, bro. You feel me? That's how I feel. That me is, personally. That's powerful, you bro. You, you might got, other people got different nah, perspectives really, and all that, but you feel me? And, it, I, and it's very interesting to hear your perspective, because obviously the situation, bro, as well. It's true. Let me tell you about my life, you can't wake from this dream. I seen the head pop, it was a messy scene. We on the block serving them rocks, yeah, we got what you need. If you ain't stepping, you ain't two, three, four, no limit dream team. Jumped off the porch at a young age, we on bikes on the block. Young they used to play a lot, but don't play a lot. We used to hit the outside before we played the spot. Not even on that tip, we used to hoop. Was working on our shot. Now we outside really trying to hoop, be working on our shot. Bro told me use my head and get his rap for all I got, but I cannot. Leave the house without my Glock, the line they got shot. A lot of laid in boxes, taking 
Face right off the city, he can't even make an option. Just for all that trolling on the net, we gonna make patience out of the op die. My mom asking, but I don't got nothing to say about it. Might just put it in my music, just to get some paper out of it. I was calling up LS, that little nigga steady driving. I was trying to slide for us, I was trying to provide for us. Hit a block, then hit a face, we only got a nine tourists. I'm really EBK, if you ain't mine, then I'll slime yours. I lost my little brother to this so I be saying the trench, but I've been staying away from this somehow I still be loving it. If the ops said to you they want to pull a truce, Then how would it ever end? Sitting. Sitting. They all gotta die. That's the only way to it. Where them all gotta disappear, like. They gotta all go. This joint right here do the trick. Magic wand. This too. What up? I don't think they would really even. That did, shit got like, shark teeth. I like, said five, seven, filled with blue tips. No, you, you can't, can't fight, fight this. Shit. I can't stop nothing because I feel like I lost too much. Blue tips are armor piercing rounds. If anybody. Mm -hmm. I lost too much for me to just to just give it all the way now. Like I used to, like I, I still feel like this, but I feel I feel I used to feel like all right, the way I'm too deep in this shit now. Like I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life behind this shit, and I just gotta be content with it. Because like, is that what you think as well, bro? That's what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, I feel like you live by what you die by. It's gonna happen, but it's just like realistic. I want word it to you right. It's not like. If you think, if you, if you just city. think you gonna run around, you shoot all day, you killing, you robbing, you stealing, you doing all this dirt, yours is gonna come back to you. And nine times out of ten, it's gonna come back to you the way that you was giving it up. Yep. So it's just like, that's how I look at it. Oh, for 21 years old, yeah, you spit some facts, bro. And <laughs> another question. I when I got jumped, when I got, I got to keep in mind, I got jumped by 30 people. I got put in the hospital. When I got jumped, when I got shot at. Didn't even think twice about it. I knew it was I had it coming, so it, it was like, all right, it is what it is. Asking every trenches, if if the op said to you, Skrilla, let's just call a truce, how would you feel about that, and would you? Yeah, I'd be with that shit for sure, though, for sure, though, for sure, though. Yeah, that's yeah, for sure, though. Definitely where I met, though. To where I met though, it a it a it a change a lot. Just growing up, like a lot of other younger young would change. Like they look up to me, so they like that. Shit, like stop the violence, stop the violence. And uh, would you uh, is that something you're advocating and promoting at the moment? I guess pushing peace. Yeah, I'm always pushing peace. Though I'm always pushing peace. Oh, I'm pushing I, peace. No, we could we it's like we can stop that. Shit, but it all depends on how coming about it. Like a lot of be like. They had say that and then the next the next couple months of it, that should have be on again. It's like if you gonna if you gonna say that you gotta be a man about it and be serious. And bro, what would you say? Is it the worst? I don't believe there's a such thing in the gang culture. There's not a, there's not a such thing as a truth. It can't be. It's too ingrained. Stuff happened back then. Something happened to somebody dad. Something happened to somebody cousin. And enough, certain people are not gonna let it go ever. Best memory of your life so far at 21? Sounds good. Man. Who's my friends? Good Who's the people good. that I started to, like, that I started to, like, to become the person that I am with? Like, that should take everything from you. That should make you a different person. That should make you who you are. I ain't gonna lie. That shit scared it, right? All right, look. I am. I was I was in my. I was sleeping, bro. Well, this is probably the worst call I ever got, bro. I was sleeping. This is probably the worst memory, bro. I was sleeping. Shall I wake up to this phone call, bro? When I get on a FaceTime, bro, it's my little cousin, like, stretched out on the camera. Oh my God. 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 That's my little cousin. But he was dead. On the camera, on the FaceTime call, somebody called me like, yo, this your folks. I just looking like, fuck, like. That's deep, bro. That shit was good. Damn. How many people have you both lost with freaks? I lost a lot. I ain't gonna lie, I've been losing you fucking generation. Like, I probably wasn't, I probably ain't lose, like, my homies since that time, but I've been losing my family. Like, motherfuckers I really love since probably, like, 
2010, I'm at 09, 2010. That was my, yeah, that was my favorite fan, that my, my best cousin was. And then, uh, what would you say is the worst memory of your life? Yeah, my uh, pop, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, my pop and shit, he passed away and shit. Sorry to hear that, bro. That was it, though. Uh, hey. bro, what's the worst memory you have from the trenches? Where's... Like what you what you mean by words? Like what happened? What I seen? What's the yeah, crazy? Yeah. I've been something that you never got. I seen so what, man. I seen faces of wine on the ground. I done seen choking on blood, but she's losing. Yeah. And bro, how does that affect you mentally? I just seen blow up in cars and shit, man. Like, this how it affect. Lie. It's like that shit. That's how it affect. This affect me like no, this every day, one. man. Like, I pray and show Allah that shit. Man. Have you ever been? To, have, have anyone here been shot? What? I, that shit don't feel good, man. That shit don't feel good. I died all bullet. That shit don't feel good, man. Oh, yeah. Forty. That shit don't feel good. Reckon you both got PTSD from the Yeah, shit. I'm no, bro. I be, bro. Me and all that. Paranoia, yeah. Like this on me, on me, bro. Should have gambled, bro. We gamble every day, bro. Every day. Every day. That shit. Money, bro. Dude, have you ever had therapy while trying to get help? No, I'm not. I'm not doing I don't agree with that statement, but like, if you need therapy, go get it. And it, it helps. Period. Point blank. But. We all we need. Growing up in a black community, like. With black family, like going to the doctor, therapy, that type of stuff, they really don't believe in it. That stuff, so, hey, bro, to get through this, yeah, bro, we've been, we we been doing it since the day one, bro. That's how we've been bro, doing we it, bro. Did you say you have PTSD? Yeah, I feel like I do. Did you get any help for that? I feel like, shit, this my hoe right here. <laughs> I'll be smoking this shit, smoke weed, you feel me? Rapping, rapping, you feel me? That would be like my therapy. Like, so I ain't really, that'd be my hope right there for, for that little shit. Bro, what the fuck is like that? PTSD must be very real in these environments, bro. PTSD. Oh, right, yeah. this shit, bro. And, shit and do you know what's heartbreaking? Right? I guess you, neither of you ever get help for that either, do you? Have you ever got help with PTSD or I spoke to anyone and tried to get it sorted? No. That's wild, bro. It's like, I ain't even know, no hope for that shit. I just be dealing with that shit. Dealing with that shit day by day. Uh, Would you say you're desensitized to murder? We see that shit every day. Every day. That shit, that shit is every day. Every, every day. That shit is crazy. Would you say that's affected your, I guess, your mental health to some degree? Because obviously that's not a normal thing to be witnessing. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not normal. I definitely think it fuck with a motherfucker mental because, like, you know, like, at the end of the day, men and women, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we all walk out here, everybody from Philly, like, we all walk out here with a type of mindset already foot out the door. So it's like, everybody be in survival mode out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why they say a lot of times in Philly, like, even though might not stick together, they say, like, if you from Philly, like, if you could make it out of Philly, you could make it out of anywhere. And bro, why did you leave the streets? I know you just said, now I'm a grown man 30. Well, what happened? This what happened. This literally what happened, right? I'm in the jail cell. The streets do have an expiration date, man. <laughs> That's why you always gotta have an exit plan. Because you either gonna die or you're gonna go spend the rest of your life in jail. So the best plan is to not jump in them. But uh, if you got, got have an exit plan, you're gonna have to leave your city. Especially depending on what type of dirt you was in. Yeah, you, you. 28 years old, turning 29 years old. I'm in, I'm booked for a gun. I got an 18 year old Sally, he booked for a gun. We running that, then we talking about you. I hope you've never been in jail. When you in jail, them conversations in jail is eternally long. You can be talking to the sun come up. When we was having one of them conversations, at the end of the conversation, you're like, dang, I ain't no grown ups go through that. And I'm like, that shit hit you. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I'm pushing 30 in here, still doing these young, man, I gotta get my life together. I didn't even know I was a grown up. To this 18 year old, I'm a grown ass man. Not really, bro. How the f I'm giving you game and I'm in a cell? 
You feel me? I think I'm giving you game, but I'm, when I'm giving you game to be a better criminal, I'm actually not giving you no game at all. Yeah, you feel me? The real game is when you come outside and you say, oh no, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, this is how you get this. That's the game, not, oh, oh, this is how you stay out the way, just, just, what? no, that's, bull. oh, when the bitches do this, man, fuck, that's a game. That's nothing. That's not gonna make you no money, it's not gonna leave no legacy, it's not gonna make your mom proud, it's not gonna get your mom out the hood, it's not gonna do nothing. So, I had to realize, oh, nigga, you a nut. You thought you was cool, you thought you was still young, nigga, this nigga's 18, you're 28, about to be 29 years old, you're grown as It's time to act grown. Stop being a child. So, how easy it for you now to leave the streets once you're in it? Can't you really can't leave the streets once you want it? Once you want it, you want it. Only way you leave in the streets is if you get money, and, and the streets always gonna follow you if you got money still. So it's always gonna be there. You can't leave the streets once you want it. Checking you can jump off the streets. Was it a case of now you're in it? You're in it. Just believe me, bro. Elaborate on that a little bit more. So, like, to my understanding, I guess when people leave the streets, they still obviously have ops. Does that make sense? So yeah. In your situation now, that I'm not sure how, obviously how deep within the streets you are, but if, if you want to leave the streets, you reckon you could just get away and just leave? Or you reckon you, you'll always have a target on your back? I would have to leave the city. I can't just, I can't just leave and stuff. told you, you gotta leave the city. <laughs> you gotta leave that motherfucker. What? You can't stay there. It'll be here, because it's where I did everything at. It'll be my time to have to go. And, and Joe, what's the plan to get out? The plan to get out? And you ain't even got to have no ops, but like, it's just the draw of it. All your, none of your homies are, you can't force your homies to change with you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you got ops. Yes, you did all your dirt there. It might be some people looking for you. It might be some haters still. It might not be, it, it's probably, it's more likely some people that don't understand you not with that no more. But your friends... They gonna if they still not ready to change, they gonna always be doing that stuff. You gotta get away from the environment, the people that's still in it, cause they gonna draw you back into it. The pull of, the pull of negativity is much stronger than the right path, because it looks fun. Is the plan from the start? Like I don't like like I feel like growing up in Philly, everybody always had a thought like we gotta get the out. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, for real, for real. My plan, you know what I'm saying, like, I know I'm going to do everything in my power to, you know what I'm saying, like, actually get the out of Philly. I'll always be traveling anyway. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I love getting out of Philly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just here, but it's like, like, for a lot of they ain't even get the chance to do that shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I don't know, man. I'd rather stay out of Philly than be here, though. And, bro. What's your plan? Do you want to leave this environment, like this kind of a, the trenches of the hood, so to speak? Would you say? Would you want to leave the trenches and the I hood? I want to leave. Yeah, I go a lot. Uh, like get houses and shit, like different places. Yeah, I definitely want to move out the city. You feel me? Get different houses out the city, different out. If, if you had one wish, what would that be? One wish. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Like if I ever go back to Chicago, like I'd be in the suburbs somewhere, tucked off away, like. Or I'd be in the smack dead in the middle of downtown. But even being downtown, I don't even do bring all my back. No cat. Yeah, right here. I feel like Philly. if I don't make it out this shit, I'm gonna be like any other from Philly. I Every feel like I'm gonna be a nut ass. Exactly. Like I feel like you like gonna see what? me Philly. later from like third. If I if I if I don't make it. Feel me, 10, 15 years from now, you're gonna see me like, yo, that's Mr. I'm gonna be a old out here. I'm not trying to be one of them. Yeah, I'm not. No, I gotta be, when they see me 10, 15 years from now, I gotta have more Cubans on and more cars and more holes. Feel me? Like, it's like, I ain't. I got goals and like, I ain't gonna lie. I got some. I got comp. So I get my dupes, I gotta get my mom out the hood. Feel me? Like that. What would you say to the next generation who are jumping off the porch? What would your advice be to that generation? Um, and don't eliminate yourself, man. You you eliminate yourself, man, by taking your away from taking yourself away from your family, I mean, the world. I mean, all the opportunities that they're giving dudes a day, man. They wasn't giving it to us 20 years ago, 15 years ago. You know, so. So every time you make a move, you better look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah, like so, man. That's, that's how, how bad it's getting. That's right how now. bad it's getting, but. Don't get me wrong, man. I love Chicago, but like, <clears throat> I don't think I could <clears throat> reach my full potential, man, because the draw was too strong. It was too strong to be outside. <clears throat> it was too strong to go get the fast money. It was too tough. It was too. 
It was too strong to, to have a pistol on me every day. It was too strong to, to not take no disrespect and not be able to turn the, the other cheek or whatever. Like, it's, the draw was too strong. You know, I had to leave that. <laughs> but don't eliminate yourself because they building more and more gels every yeah. single day. They, they, have a, they have a bed for every single one. Oh, it's like they building, they preparing for you know, our youngest. I mean, there's you know, 27 prisons right now. I mean, speak. and they build it and, and count it. So, you know, don't eliminate yourself. They got the space for you. They want, you know, it's very, very easy to get in. Very, 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 very difficult to get out. Um, and uh, you try to stay as close to your family, man, because they're the only ones that go that count. Stay out the streets. If you're not in it, don't do it because it's not worth it. I'm just saying this for like the motherfuckers that's watching, like like as a kids and shit, so they can know like, all right, like you probably go, you probably did some shit before. You might it might feel good on the other side of the trigger, but when you on that other side, that shit ain't no game. It's not fun. It's like I want motherfuckers to know that. So like as a kids, they won't just be thinking this shit cool and it might feel good to go shoot at somebody. But when you get shot at, that shit don't feel good, basically. And before we finish, Joe, is there anything that you want to say? Man, stay in school to the kids, man. You feel me? Man, when people used to say that, I used to be like, man, I ain't. It is what it is. But stay in school for real. 100%. <laughs> stay in that mug. Stay out the way. Money. Get some money on. You feel me? And make sure you take care of your family, man. That's it. And watch the motherfuckers you keep around you. Because everybody ain't your friend, you hear me? And everybody that you think is cool as shit with you that you don't do it with sandbox and all that you feel me? The ain't always a hundred either, you feel me? And you, as you grow, you feel me? Your circle get, you know what I mean? Small. Right, Take that shit out of it. If you want to jump off, I promise you, you can. You might die the same night. I don't know if y'all know that. If you jump off the porch, you can die tonight. You feel me? They can spend tonight. Put that ass on the ground. You can get locked up the rest of your life tonight. 15, 16 charges with an adult. Go ahead for the rest of your life. You can do it. Cool. You're not going to leave nothing behind. You're going to keep calling home, ask for commissary. Keep going, can you do this? Can you make this move? You're you going to be doing that for a long time. But you can do it. I said what I had to say, man. Tell her, leave a like, comment. I'm gone.